Hello and welcome to Rebels Radio Laces Interview. I'm joined by Slough Joint Manager Neil Baker. How are you, Neil? Yeah, not too bad, John. Yeah, obviously, you know, disappointed today, but yeah. Yeah, so uh, reflecting on the defeat away at Orsley. Yeah, I mean, we, we went in at the end of the game and obviously disappointed that we haven't come away with anything. Um, T- you- tough day, though, tough day with, you know, in terms of talk us through the team that you put out. Yeah, we, we've had, uh, you know, it, you know, things are going too well, weren't they? You know, we, we won three games on the bounce and, you know, we hadn't picked up any injuries and, you know, our luck, our luck well, our luck since we've been at Slough is, is something always going to happen and uh, we unfortunately got a message from Guy. Um, he had had an accident on on the stairs uh, this morning and had ha- hurt his instep um, and uh, basically said he was probably unlikely to be able to play. Uh, we got there and he was limping and... Um, after seeing Kev, you know, he was declared unfit. Um, also, Jake was uh, suffering. He was actually OK on Thursday, felt OK from his injury on Wednesday, uh, but then, then had problems with it Friday. Um, another one had to come and do a fitness test, and unfortunately, he, he didn't feel comfortable to, you know, properly play. You know, he felt ha- he had a, he had a, a, a problem there, and... Um, we made the decision, you know, that he needed to sit on the bench, and he needed to sit on the bench because we didn't have anything else. You know, we were we were sort of pretty much, um, you know, bare bones, and and then obviously, you know, throughout the game, we've we've uh, we've got a, um, a Ryan Parsons had sort of had a problem after about fifteen minutes with his groin. He'd sort of highlighted it, but said he'd, he'd you know be okay to sort of try and continue, um, and unfortunately, you know, that's that's probably. Um, you know, made that a little bit worse. You know, and he's had to come off. Um, you've also, you've also got um, a problem with uh, Adrian Sears. He's uh, he's done his um, uh, ankle uh, that looked like quite a bad one. Uh, Dobbo's hurt his shoulder, um, and yeah, you know, it's it's been a bad day. You know, we've we've lost the game one nil. Did we deserve to lose the game? Probably not. We didn't play brilliantly today. I think the lads were probably feeling effects from the last two games where they've worked their socks off. Um, and I think that we were just maybe a little bit off it. However, we've had plenty of chances in the game. You know, we've hit the crossbar. We've had two penalties turned down. Had a goal disallowed where, you know, Adam Cornell's standing in line and he, he was, you know, he was convinced that Darrell was a yard or two on the side, as did their centre-half. Um, and we visited their box countless amount of times. Um, the way we had to play today, you know, especially second half, was especially when Ryan come off, um, we had to go to a three, and it left us a little bit exposed. And, and at times they did they did get us on the break, um, but we we had to we had to throw caution to the wind a little. Yeah. So obviously, out of three tough away games, you picked up six points. Would you have taken that beforehand? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, and and you have to put things into perspective. You know, we've we've got six massive points against Truro and, and Corbin and you know, you're disappointed you haven't got three points today. I'd have taken a point after about twenty minutes to, to be honest. I'd have taken a point um at the beginning of the game. We we, we just I just had that feeling where there was there was some tired legs in that changing room tonight or today and, and obviously with the guy situation, Jake's situation and then obviously Ryan pulling up after sort of fifteen minutes, I'd have probably taken a, a taken a draw. And um, I know that sounds stupid when you're playing a side at the bottom of the league, but it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it, this this league has shown already that you know on the day anyone can beat anyone, and you know, unfortunately, it's 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 not gone our way today. Were you disappointed by the amount of set plays you had without actually kind of converting any? Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, we've we've had chances, you know, and the balls just haven't quite dropped for us or, or whatever. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, Sometimes you get days like like it where everything's not going to happen, you know, or nothing right's going to ha- um, happen, and and that was today. So you have to take it on the chin, and 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 over the course of three tough away games, you know, we've picked up six points, and at the end of the day, I'm delighted with that. Okay, now looking forward to Tuesday. Obviously, you talk about having injuries. You've got Hungerford in the Bucks and Bucks Cup. Yeah. Um, have we got eleven players to put out? Uh, probably not. At the moment, we've got we've got a number of issues for um, for, for for Tuesday at Hungerford. Um, we're going to have to get onto the Barks and Bucks FA uh, on Monday and see if 
they will relax the rule. There's a unfortunately there's a seven day rule that if a player's not signed on seven days before, then they can't play in the competition. Um, we are right up against it at the moment, and um, if they don't relax the rules, I'm I'm not quite sure what we'll do because I don't know what sort of side we're going to be able to put out because we've got a number of issues, not just the the ones that we've highlighted. There's one or two others that that might be struggling for Tuesday you might as play well. Two, three, five, or something. Well, yeah, I, I, I honestly at the moment I c- I couldn't possibly tell you. Um, it's it's uh, definitely now not a game that we we. Uh, we need because uh, we have got some serious issues, um, but we'll we'll have to speak to the Barks and Bucks and see if there's any um, any way that they will, uh, um, you know, relax the rules a bit. I, I don't know. Um, normally, county FAs don't. Um, and we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. You know, we'll we'll have to speak to Kev uh, tomorrow. Uh, speak to one or two. You know, Sunday, Monday, and and see where we're at, where we're at, really. So, will you and Unders be out in the uh, market having a look round? Well, you know, we can't for that game. Absolutely can't. You know, because unless they turn around and say, "Yeah, you know, you can," we'll relax the rule and you can sign a player on. I can't see them doing it. Uh, it's the most ridiculous rule I I know in football. You know, I, I, and 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 it and it sort of undermines for me county cup you know competitions because you know you don't know what what's going to happen from week to week and to not allow you to sign a player you know uh, the day before the game or two days before the game it's just uh, you know a ridiculous rule and and uh, and that's why people people do slate county cup competitions at times because it, you know it's ridiculous and we're in a position where where we've got players that actually we we do need to rest you know because there's one or two that are car- carrying niggles and and we, we we might not be in a position to be able to do it. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get a side out. It's that, it's that bad. Would you look at taking anyone from Betsy's youngsters? Well, we we might have to, yeah, you know. But then, if, if we're if we're down to seven or eight fit players, and you're trying to throw three or four youth team lads who've never even been in and around the first team, it's uh, it's a tough ask for them. And you're up against a, a strong Hungerford side. I, I don't even know if if the youth team lads will be eligible. I, we we need to find that out. So it's um. Yeah, Tuesday's not something that I'm I'm overly looking forward to, and we'll we'll have to try and deal with that. But let's let the dust settle after tonight. You know, our, our main focus is Saturday and and trying to get you know one or two of the lads that got injured fit for Saturday. Um, at the end of the day, the, our main focus is is the league, and you know a, a win today would have been a a great win for us. And um, unfortunately, we haven't got that. But we we do have to you know remember that we're not entitled to win any game and you know the lads didn't not work hard today they worked hard and they just didn't have the rub of the green today and yes our quality in the final third you know balls necessarily into the box some of our approach play wasn't great um, but you can't fault them you can't say that they didn't try or anything like that and if anyone did then I'd be I'd be really surprised that we just had an off day yeah so overall not too disheartened but but the injury concerns is more more of a pressing matter. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me personally, as a manager, when 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 we lose a game, it it absolutely knocks me for six. I'm I'm devastated. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't feel like that today. I feel I feel disappointed that we haven't got anything from the game. But you know, these things happen in football. You know, fair play to Alzi. They they defended well. Um, they they did what they needed to do to get the points. And and you you have to take your hat off sometimes. And and understand that it doesn't always happen I remember last year we went to Leighton and lost 1-0 um, you know and they defended for their lives and, and to be fair Ozzy did that I mean they, they could have they could have put it to bed a, a bit earlier because a couple of times they had a, they had a few breaks so you know it, it happens but to, today I'm not too downbeat you know we've had a we've had a fantastic sort of 10 days um, we have to we have to take today's defeat on the chin and uh, and look to go again well, me, thank you very much for uh, your time, and yep. as ever. And um, moving forward, I'm sure you'll let everybody know as soon as you know more around injuries, etc. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as I say, you know, we probably won't won't know till Sunday, Monday. Um, as I said, even you know, I, I can't see Jake. I'm sorry, um, Dobbo, Searsy, Ryan Parsons, or Guy. I can't see any of those four being fit. Um, so you know, that puts us under extreme. Um, well extreme pressure to 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 get a side out really so we'll, we'll see what we can do okay well thank you for your time as ever and uh have a good weekend and good luck in your search yeah cheers john thanks